name is Andrea Clark. And I'm Kathleen Box. And we're from Box Farms. We're here to share with you one of our family's favorite meals, beef and mushroom stroganoff. It's a quick and easy evening meal. We're gonna start with one pound of ground beef. This is beef that was actually raised here in Tucumcari. And you can actually buy not only halves and quarters, but you can purchase individual packages at your local farmer's market. This is a recipe that even young children or say middle school children can also fix or they can at least help with. And um, to this ground beef, if we get it broken up a little bit, we will be adding one half of a medium diced onion. This will take about approximately five minutes for it to get good and brown. While the brown, the ground beef is browning, uh, we're going to add 16 ounces of mushroom. And this will need to be sliced, so you can slice your own or you can buy it already sliced. And one thought is if you have young children that these might be a little bit too big for them, then you can always take a knife and prep these a little bit more if you're concerned about the big bite. We will be adding the, ground, the mushrooms with the ground beef in a few minutes. So our meat and uh, onions are finishing up here. Next, we're gonna add four cloves of minced garlic. And let that cook and soften. That should take about three or four minutes. Once that's done, you're going to add all of your beautiful mushrooms. Along with the mushrooms, we're going to add a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of black pepper. So one teaspoon of salt. And a half a teaspoon of black pepper. Okay, let's get that. Screw the cutting board. So this should take about five minutes for these mushrooms to go ahead and cook down. And this is a great time to involve the kids in the kitchen. You can um, let them um, get your other ingredients ready. We'll be adding beef broth, noodles, some Worcestershire, and um, Dijon mustard to this. You can also add any family favorite ingredients if you like paprika or um, anything like that. This is a good time to go ahead and get those ready to add to as you'll add all of that as soon as the mushrooms are cooked down. Also a great time to listen to all their stories from the day. <laughs> So our stroganoff has been cooking for about five more minutes. This has allowed both the mushrooms and the onions to really soften up. And now we're ready to start adding other ingredients. We're gonna add our Worcestershire sauce, which this is two tablespoons of and two teaspoons of Dijon mustard. Along with this is going to be four cups of beef broth. And then we're going to add in the good part, the white egg noodles. And 
Mmm, that's looking good. And you'll just stir this until it's combined. It's not going to be enough liquid to completely cover the noodles, um, but your lid is going to come back on here and that's going to help those to go ahead and cook. So once you have it stirred up, put your lid back on your pot and let this come to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, then you'll let it take your temperature down just a little bit and let it simmer for about seven to 10 minutes. What we're cooking for right now is until the noodles are nice and soft and may need to occasionally stir it during that time. Okay. And that's our one pot beef and mushroom stroganoff. Stop by your local farmer's market where you can get fresh locally raised meats such as our ground beef and produce, even some fresh cut flowers. So see you there and thank you for supporting local farmers and ranchers. Don't forget to shop local.